first of all, you have to think again. None of the things that I'm mentioning over here is new because I've been having the same thread all along. Think agile. Become agile and then develop agile. It's not a, a bowl that is going to have everything that you need because with the same ingredients, you can make different things. The tomato can be a soup or can be a topping on the pasta and the pizza. Right? So, first of all, think agile. And I have several ideas to how you do this, how you do that, how you do that, and I will discuss over there. First is individual. And then comes the team. And then comes the enterprise. Okay? All of us, or I should say most of us, have a mentality like, you know, training should be given by uh, employers. Absolutely no. You got the job because of your qualification. You keep the job because of maintaining those qualifications. Why should maintaining the qualifications be a company's responsibility? On the job training is required for what are some of the company's products. I cannot learn more about iPhone development unless, other, unless otherwise I am in Apple. I cannot know more about what uh, Google's SEO policy is unless I am inside Google. But nothing prevents me from knowing what are the common trends that are going in the world. If you are a programmer, what are the latest trends that are coming? If you are a project manager, what are the latest trends that are coming in project management? How many of us in the project management world are, are going and attending Global Congress? How many PDUs are we getting? How many um, events are we attending? How many networking events are we going? Digital services. Are you Sarbanes actually certified? Data warehouse. There are a lot of certifications over there. Micro, Microsoft Data Warehouse Specialist. What are we doing outside of what we are actually doing right now? The next one is team. Once you know the team, then you go to the team. I always tell, Together, everyone achieves more. But there is I in win. If you want to win, you have to put the effort. By the way, it's not my quote, it's my quote. Then comes the enterprise. Once you are team function, PMO as a team, ITO as a team, QA department as a team, development organization as a team, analytics as a team, customer service as a team, account management as a team. If each and every one of those team is working agile, then the enterprise will become agile. What we do, in fact, is the opposite. We want the enterprise to become agile. We want enterprise to have all the processes. We want enterprise to tell us what PMO processes should be. And then I will follow what processes I should do if you give me a training. Why should there not be job loss? So, individual agility. I have this common thread that I'm having. Common goal, competence, and commitment. These are the three C's in agility. So, common goal. When you, when you relate to all these things, how current is your knowledge of the industry? I don't know. These are all questions I'm posing you. For every one of you in your job, how current are you in your, in your industry? How proficient are you in your profession? When you step out of your company's project management role and you are looking for a project management job in another company within the same industry, will you be able to compete? How many project managers are outside? Are your skills up to date with theirs? Now if you are not attending any of the networking event, how can you be? If you are in the technical world and you are not keeping up with the technical world, which outdates every 18 months, how can you be cut? When was the, you know, one thing that I always ask people in my interviews, what's the last book you wrote? That's all I And I'm looking for very, very important, you know, things like 
I read a book on strategy by so and so. I read a book about this particular one. What was the last certification you got? What was the last networking event you read? And I'm not talking about company sponsored events. I'm talking about what did you do outside from your pocket and you left and you found out. And there are a lot of virtual seminars that are available that you don't need to necessarily pay for. It. How knowledgeable are you about your strategies? So today you are working on these strategies. Tomorrow, imagine, just imagine, but hypothetically, this job is now being, your company is being acquired by another company. Your strategies are no longer going to be the same. Are you ready for it? We are, every company is always for sale, right? Every publicly or privately traded company is always for sale. Everybody wants to make money because that's the ultimate business intent, right? So our company can be purchased, can be acquired, can merge with somebody else, can diverse, can split. All these things are natural events that can happen. Are we ready? If you are able to get an insurance for a potential earthquake, why are we not getting an insurance by putting money on ourselves? How connected are you with people? Why do you think we have to go to the networking events? Because you establish connections. I'm not talking about Facebook connections, folks. I'm talking about connections in the LinkedIn. I'm talking about connections in your actual professional network. How many of us are able to actually look in LinkedIn and find out what are some of the new things that are happening in LinkedIn? No, none of you have to answer the question, but those are the prompting questions I'm posing you. What are we doing today to change ourselves tomorrow? We all want more money, more profession, uh, you know, more recognition and all those things. But what are we doing today? The thing that I always say, if opportunity doesn't knock, build the door. Are we building the door? Most of you here are today because you just came here. Right? There, there is something that is happening. You could have decided not to come. You could have watched a movie. You could have done something. But you do, did something out of it to say, I want to know more. What is this guy talking about? Let me, let me experiment this. That is building a door. But what I'm asking is now build a frame. Put the hinges. Do everything else. Then opportunity will knock. Success comes when you are prepared. It doesn't knock on your door when you are not. Okay. Team agility. So now you are good. You are going, you are attending, you are doing all these things. What are you doing with that? Knowledge is useless when it is not shared. I have all the wonderful knowledge, but if you are not able to share it with the team, if you are not able to share it with the outside people, it is waste. The food that you actually prepare has to be consumed. If you just leave it outside, it will go stale. Right? Now, are you an enabler? What change are you bringing into the team? Don't ask me, my manager didn't give me this. I want more time. I wish I had three hands. I wish I can clone myself. Everybody has the same 24 hours. If I can do it, you can do it. If you can do it, anybody can do it. What are you contributing new for the team? Guys, we are doing this. I attended this session today. Let's talk about how we can do things differently. There have been people that are actually calling people to come and say, can you give a uh, lunch and all? I did this knowledge mining series in my company. Why? I harvest the knowledge. Knowledge doesn't come from one source. Knowledge is everywhere. Let's harvest it. Come back and start looking into it. You know this, you know this, you know this. Combine 1 plus 1 plus 1 <laughs> equals 33. Not you know. <coughs> How collaborative are you? <coughs> Guys, let's face it. Distributed virtual remote teams is going to be the day. You're not going to avoid. We can work from India. You can work from here. When you are working in India, you can work from here. There are there are people that are actually in India working US time. There are people in US that are working India time. There can be people in Philippines. You know, common time zones. It's going to be the nature of the game. Okay. How collaborative are you? A handshake over here, a face contact over here, an eyeball movement over here is not going to count. Are you able to put the requirements correctly in a wiki? 
Are you able to communicate directly through a blog? So those are very, very important. What is the online presence you are building? If I go and Google your name, how many hits will I get outside of Facebook? What are you willing to give up for the team? What are you willing to give up for the team? You have all these things. You come back and say, I want to implement all these things. And the company says, we are not there yet. What are you willing to give up? I'm ready to do not do all these things. I'll put extra of my time to educate you guys. All of you come here, let me educate you. All of you come here, let me give you this information. What are you doing in your company? Are you having a lunch and learn session? Knowledge mining ideas. Harvest the knowledge, folks. Harvest the knowledge. Business unit agility. Once the team becomes agile, now all the business units have to work together. I always have this thing. You know, the business team, my PMO team is working very good, but QA is really not agile. What have you done to go on top to them? Bring them. Hey guys, you know, we are doing all these changes. We are able to see some benefits. Come, you know, don't go and say, let me do this for you, because they say, well, who are you to come and tell me? Instead, go and say, we are doing all these things. Do you mind actually coming here and giving your input into it? Number one, they will come and see themselves say, I know communication. But not by telling, I know this, can I do this? By, tell, by asking, can you give feedback, and now opening up line of communication. Reverse. By the same token, if they come back and say, oh, they tried it, it doesn't work. Nothing wrong. You try. What norms are agreed upon? Remember I told like, you know, this, as in my PMO group, baseline has to exist in a project. If baseline doesn't exist, there is no project schedule for me. If a project schedule does not get updated every, you know, so many days, it's not a project schedule. Every task, the golden rule, what does the golden rule say? Every 80 hours, there has to be a deliverable. That's project management 101. What does Ajay say? Every two weeks. Two weeks is 80 hours. People think like, oh, Ajay has come up with an excellent new idea. It does. It just transformed you into, a, into thinking differently. But the rule already applied. Every IT hour, give me a deliverable. And I also take it down one more step. Every 40, that no task in Microsoft project should be more than 40 hours. What is the point in putting a task that is going to be 325 days and saying I am 23% complete? You are just seeding yourself for failure. Okay? How connected are you with Agile? Knowing about Agile is one thing. But how are you practicing it? How are you implementing it? What are you doing to get better at it? Four years back, I mean not four years, eight years back, I didn't know much about a job. Sixteen years back, I didn't know anything about project management. And I'm sure you can tell the same thing. Eight years from now, you may be here talking about how to practice a job much better than I can. If only you put your mind to it. 